everyone. Okay, it's time for another outfit of the day. Super, super fast, as usual. I'm going out to dinner and I'm wearing something kind of like weird and fun and I haven't made an outfit of the day with this dress on before, but you have seen it before, maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm just gonna show you everything starting from the top and going down to the bottom. First off, my hair, it's freshly washed, feeling so easy breezy, not really. I curled it in kind of small-ish sections all around with a big curling iron. I have kind of a tutorial on how to do that and I'll link that down below if you're interested in seeing that. As far as my makeup, um, the eyes are a little bit different. I used a different eyeshadow. I used this Gosh Trio that I got in the mail last week from a really really sweet subscriber named Lacey and I've heard of gosh makeup like all over YouTube forever and I'd never seen it in person. The main shadow that I used tonight was this kind of like wine burgundy kind of color and it's like super payoff, super awesome. The color of this trio is Love at First Sight. Definitely liking it. Thank you Lacey. As for my lips, I have this new MAC lipstick, not a new lipstick by MAC, but new to me lipstick by MAC, and it's Please Me. And it's kind of just a matte, light pink. It looks lighter on the lip than in the tube. I don't know, I've only worn it like once or twice other than tonight, and I'm kind of on the fence about it, but I think I like it. We shall see. I'm also wearing my favorite gloss of the moment slash last few months. It's the Hourglass Extreme Sheen Gloss in the color Reflect. It's kind of just clear. It looks good over everything and I definitely think it looks good over this matte lipstick because I do not like the look of matte lipstick by itself. That's gross. As for my earrings, they're just these sparkly studs. Um, they're from Target. They came in like a big set and they were cheap and I love them and I wear them all the time. They're like kind of sparkly iridescent and you know I'm into that. And then I have this really pretty wishbone necklace that I got off Etsy kind of like a long time ago. It can kind of go like that or it can kind of go like that and I much prefer when it goes like that. I kind of hate my nails right now because they are like worn out. I've had them going for maybe like a week or so. I'm pretty sure some of you have already seen them but I'm wearing the Wet n Wild Mega Last Polish in Bite the Bullet and then on one of my accent nails I'm wearing this Revlon top speed top coat kind of crazy glitter thing and it's in Celestial FX and it has stars and moons and rhombuses and it's, it's pretty much Lucky Charms. Then I also have my Tri Accent Action going on and it's this color club in Harp On It which I got this from Birchbox. For my fragrance I'm wearing Victor and Rolf Flower Balm. Can't stay away from this one. I just never gonna get sick of it I don't think. Oh well, you can't really say that but there hasn't been a day since I got this fragrance that I've been like, nope, I don't want to smell like that. It just hasn't happened. I just love it. On this hand, I have my Henry Bendel bow ring, and then I also have my Go Jane kind of stucker silver ring. The rings on this hand, Forever 21 knuckle ring, sparkle sparkle, and then my James Avery pearl ring. My watch is Betsy Johnson, Marilyn Monroe, and then kind of just a cheesy that was Navi Forever 21 bead bracelet. On this side, I have my leather wrap bracelet that I got from somewhere, I don't know. And then I have my Alex and Annie Sagittarius bracelet. Love, love, love. I don't have a twist band, which concerns me. I'll have to get one before I leave. I can't do that. I can't just leave with this hair blowing in the wind all willy-nilly. Okay, so now it's time for me to show you my dress and my tights and my shoes. It's all new, except for, I don't know if you know where the dress is from. I'm kind of thinking of this outfit as like, snow princess in the heat. I'm not sure. I don't, we'll see what you think, okay? My dress is from Forever 21, and it's kind of a sparkly, baby blue kind of situation. I don't know what this material is, but it's definitely not anything found in nature. But it's sparkly, so who cares? I kind of get like Sugar Plum Fairy slash Christina Ricci and Buffalo 66 vibes. I don't know if you've ever seen that movie, but this is pretty much her costume. I don't know, I'm a big fan. But I'm also a really big fan of these sleeves. I really love the half sleeve business because it's like not that cold, but I can always throw a jacket over it. It's all good. It's also really, really short, but I'm a fan of short, so that works for me. And the back is super plain. It's kind of just like the front, not a lot going on back there. Okay, so now I'm doing that kind of dangerous thing again. 
all for you. I like to live on the edge, but this is all for you. These are my tights. I got these from Forever 21 also. They called them peach, but I think they're more of like a light pink. Definitely a tricky situation wearing tights that are lighter than your natural skin color. It's weird, but I think it works with this dress and the whole figure skater kind of motif. I like the pattern and my skin shows through a lot, so I think these work. Do you think they work? I hope they work. There's nothing I can really do either way, so whatever. Now on to my shoes. These are my new Coors Suede Mary Janes. I'm super in love with them. They have a really high heel, which yes, makes me a giant, like a legit giant, but I don't think I care right now. Do you care? I don't know. I don't think we care. So yeah, they definitely work with the whole baby doll vibe and the dress and the tights and everything. I got them on sale, so that only adds to the love I feel for these shoes, which, you know, is immeasurable. Um, do you like them? I really like them. I don't know why I ask you all these rhetorical questions. Actually, they're not. You can answer them in the comments down below. Thank you very much. New way to walk, 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 walk. All right, so that's my whole outfit. I have got to run, so yeah, I don't even know where I'm going to eat. I hope I don't look like a crazy person. I'm a crazy person giant with Lucky Charm nails. I can't be helped. Anyway, that's everything. If you have any comments or questions or whatever, you can comment down below. Be sure to check the description for links like Facebook and Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, whatever. Come see me over there. I'm always happy to hear from you guys. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. Oh no. I've been using the crap out of it sold out and then not sold out sold out not sold out just a fat for, and then I extreme chain so I went for the like little travel pack I think they call this a travel pack and I think this little bag would be nice to travel with because sometimes like you know whenever you're using the beauty blender you get it wet beforehand before you get it in any kind of like foundation or product or anything so it doesn't soak it up and so it's wet after you use it and if you have to throw it into a bag and it's wet or you have to put it in you know a, a container or something it's gonna like mildew I don't know I have kind of irrational fears about mold or mildew or anything that's moist that's not supposed to be so